Um, where are you guys from? Uh, America. 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 So you guys have been living here in Korea for how long so far? Uh, since February. Since We're since June, July. Yeah. And so while you've been living here, here in Korea, what are some mannerisms that you've picked up, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Yeah. yeah. You guys can speak Korean, I assume. A bit. A little bit. Tell them. Tell them. <laughs> when you're pretending to understand them. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Everything. Right. Yeah. I always say, come samnida. Like every single situation. Like yeah. I always try to make my voice a little cute. Annyeonghaseyo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I completely so changed how I dress I when, I, when I moved here. Yeah, just because the stairs, I already get stared at enough. Yeah. I, don't, I don't want more. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can't wear anything. Thing with my shoulders out or my chest and I don't yeah. that's yeah. just maybe I already if you were, maybe if you wear leggings here like a lot of people will stare at you even more yeah, yeah. yeah I I like leggings <laughs> once that was a bad idea <laughs> <laughs> and like that's like my fashion like tube tops crop tops yeah. short skirts mm. that's what I wear in it's New York America, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah so I just brought it over here and then I was like wait yeah. I'm from Russia from Russia yeah oh your English accent is very you know <laughs> so fluent I thought you're from America actually no. uh, how long have you lived here you said in two years. Um, when I came here, my personality was kind of, I guess, crazy, but also because I was a high school student just oh, okay. out fresh. Yeah, yeah. But now I'm just, I found my cool in Korea because everyone is generally just more quieter compared to Russia. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I was like more outgoing and more crazy before I got here, and then now, like, you know, yeah. can't talk loud in the subway. You gotta like act this way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from Kansas City, America. I have been living in Korea for five years. Instead of like waving, sometimes I bow. You oh, know. you bow. Yeah. Just automatically. Just automatically. <laughs> and yeah. another major one, I think, like in the US, they say yeah or yes. Mm. Like in Korea, they go, mmm. Mm. Ah, oh, like uh, that kind of sounds. Yeah, yeah. So I respond to questions that way, especially with my students. Oh, uh, I see. So when you go back home to America, maybe, and you're responding to your friends about, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> they will probably think it's a little weird because in the U.S. you don't do that. Like exactly, it's yeah, a very yeah, yeah. Korean style response. Yeah, exactly, so, exactly. Yeah. In Korea, you definitely stick to your own circle a lot more. Yeah, like in absolutely. Korea, you more date inside your friend's circle, and like that's of how course. you meet people. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. America, and like Western countries in Europe, it's very normal to just casually go up to somebody and ask, oh, course, hi, yeah. I, I would like to get your information, yeah, you're yeah, interesting. Yeah. Course, yeah. Yeah. Where are you guys from? Uh, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico? We live in Florida. And how long have you guys lived in Korea so far? Uh, six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks, okay. So what are some habits that you've picked up from other Koreans, you know, by living in Korea? Um, I think it's just being really respectful when bowing, saying thank you a lot. <laughs> yeah, just being really respectful in general. I see, I see. How about, how about you? Um, saying thank you, like, repeatedly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then completely, like, even when you're saying bye, you're always, like, yeah. waving. But thank you're you. You're waving. I, I think I, I agree with, like, the bowing yeah. kind of thing, you know? And when I couldn't speak Korean at all, I'd just be like, oh. <laughs> Especially if you don't know the language, I feel like it's a good way to, like, yeah, be polite, yeah, yeah. even if you don't know how to say thank you something. Body language, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Body language. Anything else? Maybe like what in public transportation, not talking or whatnot. What, what oh yeah, you're about? very yeah. quiet, and also you have to be very fast because <laughs> be the buses fast. do not they stop. Leave you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing though because they're always on time. They're always on yeah. their schedule, so like, yeah. I respect it. How do people treat you? Um, I've been treated really nicely. Like, there's a lot of people who've gone like the extra mile just to help me out, and I, I really appreciate that. You guys love your time here so far? Yes, extremely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And where are you guys from again? Italy. Italy. And uh, how long have you guys lived in Korea here as students? Uh, six months now. Six months so far. Okay, so in your six months living here as a foreigner, what are some Korean habits that you've started to do? In the restaurants, many things like for calling the waiters, we have to shout like, Yo <laughs> It's not common in Italy. Yeah, we don't shout in Italy. <laughs> I heard here because like in Korea, you have to tell them, you have to shout at them what you want to order. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and even calling like Azumoni. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I usually leave my bag somewhere, like in restaurants. Oh, I leave really? it at the table and maybe I yeah. if I have to go to the toilet, I leave just the bag there yeah. or the 
smartphone, and when I come back, they're still there. Yeah, no, one yeah. no one steals it here. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no. Do, do, they, do they steal it right away in Italy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do it in Italy. Yeah. No Leave way. Leave it there, five seconds, it's gone. <laughs> exactly. Where are you from? I'm from the States. From the States. And how long have you lived here in Korea as a foreigner? I've lived here for about three years. Three years. Very long time, I see. Uh, one of the most important things, especially while uh, out in public, is being quiet. Quiet. Oh. Which is something that's very strange, you don't think about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, being quiet on the subways, being quiet on the buses, uh, and learning when correct time to be a little more silent. I see. I see. And you can tell some of the foreigners who have been here longer because they have <laughs> adapted to that sort of a uh, Korean way of life. Yeah, yeah. So becoming more reserved, especially on the like public transportation or that kind of situation. Oh yes. Yeah. I lived in a small town before I moved to Seoul. Oh, really? Where at? In Ulsan. Ulsan. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, near Busan. Near Busan, oh. yeah. About an hour away. <laughs> so uh, you kind of are a representation of foreigners mm -hmm. when you are in a smaller place. And exactly. so, yeah. yeah, so mm -hmm. you do have to you have to kind of act Korean yeah. and then and then everyone's like, oh, these foreigners are great. <laughs> we love having them here. I went to visit the States after being yeah. here for only a year yeah. and I was bowing to everyone when I went and visited. I was like, hi, Rich mom. mom. <laughs> Hello, brother and everybody else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also taking and doing uh, the two hand thing when giving things to people. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 열심히 영어 공부를 하시는 분이라면 Serious Learners Membership에 가입해 보세요. 여러 가지 레벨이 있는데 Membership 혜택 중에는 한영 대본 한영을 자유롭게 설정할 수 있는 영상 그리고 영어 발음을 위한 Shadowing 시리즈도 있습니다. 관심 있으시면 아래 설명 참고해 주세요. Good. In uh, Korea, you're, you get judged harshly if you're eating <laughs> on the bus yeah. or if you're talking loudly uh, on the bus. Like People look back and stare at you, especially yeah. if you're a foreigner. Even even Koreans that talk loudly on the bus, they, course, get, yeah, yeah. they get looked at get by other at. people and you can yeah. tell everybody else is getting annoyed of with course, them. Yeah. Do you think you get stared at a lot in general in Korea? Um, a bit. It's, it depends where you live. I feel like if you're in Itaewon or... Uh, an area that has more foreigners, it has a younger crowd than not as much, but if you're like yeah. in an older, like a countryside, then you definitely get looked at a bit yeah, more, yeah, and, and yeah. kids will be like, oh, Weguk Saram, like foreigner, <laughs> dad and mom, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel it's not as bad for uh, a white person as it is for African Americans. For African -Americans. Like, I feel they get judged more. Like, I had some friends that oh, definitely really? they could, like, it's just a different, they different stereotypes, you know. So you love your time in Korea here so far for the five years you've been here? Oh uh, yeah, there's there's pros and cons to every country, you know. So yeah, but I, I think overall Korea is a very very good country. Uh, a lot of good people. Yeah, good food. Yeah, good food. <laughs> uh, ladies in the metro, in the subway or in the bus, uh, yeah. told me to like shut, shut down. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. They absolutely, told you guys to absolutely. Shut up? Yeah. even on the bus. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah, yeah. You guys um, enjoyed your six months here so far. Yeah. yeah. Thank, you. thank you for coming out today, and we'll give yeah. a thumbs up. And, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Another thing, well, maybe fashion or something, or maybe caring about your external looks. It's very important here, especially in Seoul. Yeah, yeah. People are always like, "What are you wearing? What's everybody wearing these?" How is it in Ulsan? T-shirts. T-shirt. T-shirts. T-shirts and sweats. T-shirts, leggings, sweats. <laughs> yeah, you got pajamas. A, yeah, you got a lot of high schoolers there, yeah, so yeah, they're yeah. just trying to live at I this see. point. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Thank you for your time, and then you'll give me a thumbs up here. No. Oh, I became vegan. Vegan? Yeah. Oh, you became vegan while you're here. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's interesting. What, what made you become vegan? There's been like a trend when I came here. Yeah. There have been a lot of new vegan places opening up, mm -hmm. and. My friends were already vegan, oh, I so see. they kind of introduced me. Are your Korean friends or yeah, uh, foreign friends? Oh, okay. Friends, yeah. That's interesting. Must be hard to, you know, control that, you know, desire for meat. You got samgyeopsal, you got bulgogi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, plus my, um, when I go back home, babulia is always like, why are you not eating meat? Come on, this is like, this is what you gotta eat. Or do Russians, like, um, in their culture, do they eat a lot of meat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you for coming out today and you'll give a thumbs up. Thank yeah. Alright. Yeah, I mean I definitely try to keep it down like on the subway and on yeah. the bus and stuff. I'm loud, so like <laughs> even one night me and Herb were hanging out at the Han River and like we were just oh. laughing, kiki keen it up. 
<laughs> and we would always get like glares. I'm like, okay, <laughs> yes. I get I'm a little outspoken. I get yeah. it. <laughs> Well, you guys yes. love your time here in Korea so far. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Yeah. I don't want to leave. I've enjoyed it too, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming out. Give me a thumbs up and yeah, we'll get you on your way. <laughs> Subscribe and like. Subscribe, like. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Once again, I'm Sean. If you guys like this kind of video, let me know in the comments down below. And let me know what other kinds of videos you want to see about life in the US or American culture in general. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye.